Hey everyone, how's it going? So we're uh, we're gonna do another house again today. Big surprise there. Uh, suddenly this time I'm not entirely sure what I'm even doing. Um, I didn't actually really plan anything out this time. I kind of have a picture open here on my other screen of uh, a pretty neat little place. So I don't know. We'll see. We're just gonna gonna go off the cuff this time. I think do a little do a little improv. So. Not entirely sure how long this will take to do, how many episodes, might take a couple since I only really like going in about 10 minute chunks. Speaking of, yeah, let's start the clock. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, ne never mind some of these guys down here. This is actually um, kind of like a test, little test, uh, can't say server because it's not actually server, local game. Uh, that I test out some things on so these guys aren't even done so we're not gonna bother with them right now so all right we're gonna go gonna go nice and modern this time um, although it's kind of cool this this photograph I have of this house it's like it's kind of like a classic kind of farmhouse but like readapted for modern so that of course means stark and big windows so all right, let's grab, we'll do quartz. We'll need, hmm, what kind of glass? Big glass? No, let's do the panes. Panes, we'll probably do birch for interior floor. Mm -mm. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna try the bedrock for something. We'll see how it works out. All right, so there is a driveway kind of there-ish, so I'll start over here. So let's get these as the entry sidewalk. Um, all right. Now there's this entryway, then there's kind of like a, it's almost like gravel kind of here. And then it's, oops, and then it's driveway back down this way. Why does my game sound so loud? Hold on. It's not even up loud. Hmm. All right, well, let's just at least get that marked off. Just empty this out for now. So anyway, uh, let's see, to enter the house, we're gonna use stone. How wide do I want this? Actually, maybe we'll go three. All right, I'll fill in the rest of that later. So this will be the entryway. It's set back kind of in from the actual front wall of the house. We'll do three. What do we think? Hmm. Because if that comes around like that, how much room would that give us over here for a room? Not much. Especially if that's the wall. And it does have a window in it, although I'm assuming it's like a bathroom because the window is actually up kind of higher. Hmm. Like that? I don't know. Let's just try it out and see what happens. And one more. The top. Actually, let's get stairs. Cool. Mm, well, I don't really want to make this side too terribly wide, so I'll just leave it like that. That'll be good enough for now, because then this will just go back along the other side of the house. 
So to the side here, this is where this is going to come in. There's actually this pretty crazy just black chimney. It's really kind of awesome. So we'll just do that for now. So that'll be where the chimney goes. We'll build that up. Then, let's see, we'll bring this up as well. Just wondering how tall I actually want this floor. Because if we take into account interior room, so this will be the floor. One, two, three. And if we do that, then you're going to have that above you. Is that too tight? Do I want it taller? Hmm. Well, let's leave it. See what happens. So if we do a three by three, it'll look like that. Hmm. That might do. All right, let's try that. And actually, that'll come across. Okay. Still, still doing all right. Okay. Let me just fill this in in the meantime. Okay. All right. So now, if we're going to mirror what's down below, because these two windows over here are big and of equal size, so we'll just do another three, four. And, whoa, okay. <laughs> Bring this all the way across. Like that. Okay. Bring that up. Bring that up. Kind of start just framing everything out. So now there's a window. There's another small window, I think, there. Then over here, we'll do like that. There's kind of like an offset window above it. Good. All right. That's taken shape. Keep my daylight going here. Bring this up. OK. Let's fill in some glass while we're here. I really should just be using the connected texture so this creates kind of like one large pane of glass, but uh, I don't feel like bothering with that right now. So, all right, glass here, here, and here. Let's get a door. Actually, while we're here, fill in some of this. Ooh. Be -be. I'll have to work out what we're doing with the fireplace anyway later. This will come out back here. And door. All right. Now, if we come around this side, I can't really tell what's over there. I can see that there's another set of windows on the first and second floor. It also looks like the ceiling's vaulted on the second floor, too, so that might actually be totally open, at least on this side. Uh, but let's see. I think it's going to be one smaller, so we'll do two wide, like that. All right, good. Fill this in. Uh, it's probably my favorite part about modern contemporary architecture is just how open and airy and light everything is. Such contrast from how so much was actually built prior. Now the issue we're going to have inside obviously is figuring out what kind of rooms we're going to be doing, but uh, we'll see if we can get the exterior first. Um, do -do -do. Okay, now out front, actually let's do some of this. Keep a check on my time, almost time to call it there for this 
episode, but let's keep going. All right, so we decided we'll do three wide here. Okay. Then, since cobblestone actually looks like that, I might just do this gravel. See how this looks. Uh, okay. Mm, I don't want to do this. Ooh, well, nah, I won't use that stuff. Alright, so there's actually like a couple little bushes or something here. So let's see. Let's see what we can fake. <laughs> How does this look? Actually, they're more like little trees in the actual picture, but... Sure, good enough. And driveway. Everything seems to be all the same material, so we'll just keep going across like that. All right. Well, I'm going to call it there for this episode at least. We'll uh, we'll continue on in the second part, and hopefully I can work out some more of the sides and around the back. All right, great. So until next time, thanks again for watching, and check out the next part.